Details revealed John McCain tried to sabotage Trump with fake dossier by Gary Mayer for USA Politics Today. It's no secret that Senator John McCain is not a fan of President Trump. McCain has frequently been opposed to the president's agenda, voting against most of the legislation back or proposed by the White House. It would appear that the animus McCabe holds against President Trump is deeper than anyone realized. On Monday, Sir Andrew Wood, who claims to have been the go-between last year, informing Senator McCain of the controversial Trump dossier, described the circumstances that helped coordinate its release to the FBI, the media, and Capitol Hill. The information provided by Sir Andrew Wood sheds light on the role McCain and his aide played with regard to the Trump dossier. Unclean hands. Sir Andrew Wood is reportedly good friends with former British spy Christopher Steele, the author of the Trump dossier. Wood claimed that Steele's appro uh, Steele approached him in August of 2016 and informed him about the dossier. Steele came to me to tell me what was in it and why it was important. He made it very clear, yes, it was raw intelligence, but it needed putting into proper context before you could judge it fully. Just after the 2016 presidential election, Wood and McCain spoke at the same security conference in Canada. It was there that Wood was approached once again by Steele and asked if he would approach the senior Republican McCain. Wood agreed and elaborated on his assistance to Steele. My mission was essentially to be a go-between and a messenger to tell the senator and assistants that such a dossier existed. Wood insisted that he ne uh, never read the unverified dossier that was composed by his good friend and colleague, Christopher Steele. According to Wood, Steele informed him that in August of 2016, he had already been in contact with the FBI. Wood continued, he, meaning Steele, said there was corroborating evidence in the United States from which I assumed he was working with an American company. It was at the security conference that McCain Institute for International Leadership staffer David J. Kramer was told by the senator directly to get a personal briefing from Steele in Surrey, an English town near London, regarding the dossier and the return to Washington and return to Washington, D.C. At that time, Fusion GPS would then provide Senator McCain with hard copies of the dossier against the president. In January, Senator McCain handed over the dossier composed by Christopher Steele to the FBI. Unbeknownst to McCabe, the FBI had already obtained a hard copy from Steele. Senator McCain has commented on his involvement regarding the dossier. Late last year, I received sensitive information that has since been made public upon examination of the contents, and unable to make a judgment about their accuracy, I delivered the information to the director of the FBI. That has been the extent of my contact with the FBI or any other government agency regarding this issue. Government corruption? The month of August in 2016 is a critical period in the dossier timeline. To recap, during that month, the FBI ramped up the Russia probe and former FBI Director James Comey had made the recommendation against prosecuting Hillary Clinton. According to the New York Times, before the election, the FBI had reached an agreement to pay Steele to continue his research through the plan, though the plan was scrapped once the dossier became public. Fusion GPS was hired by the Clinton campaign. And I will add again, by Hillary Clinton. Forget the campaign and the DNC. It's Hillary Clinton. Through their law firms, Perkins Coy, yeah, that's a sidekick so they can funnel the money so it doesn't show it's exactly her. That's a little slick. To compile opposition research on Trump. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much.
for watching.